Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. Welcome to our pedicure segment. Please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. Let's get started. All the pedicures are done by our instructor and professional pedologist Olga. Today we will do a French pedicure. You have requested this topic a lot, so that's what we will be talking about today. First off, we clip off the length with clippers or nippers. And then file the nails. Note that in a pedicure, we always keep a square shape. That's crucial. Put better above the file a bit to smooth out its edges to avoid cuts. They are pretty common in a pedicure. And cutting with a file hurts a lot, especially in the shoes later. So be careful with the file. And for that reason, we can slightly pull the front nail fold. Now we lift up the cuticle, remove the pterygium with an orange stick, and buff the surface for better bonding. This step is important, since it helps to clean up all the leftover pterygium. We will cut the cuticle with a flame drill bit. Starting with the right sides, then the left ones. Don't forget to clean up the sinus zones. There is a video on e-file pedicure on my channel, so check it out too. Now let's discuss a French pedicure. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Many clients absolutely hate it. They consider it a manicure design that looks weird on toenails. But there are clients who always go for it in a pedicure. And what group are you in? That's true. It won't look good on any toenails. It will look great on these nails, but not on the trapezoidal ones, for example. What's more, some nail techs just can't paint it. They find it difficult. But practice makes perfect. One should take up a French pedicure course and then practice it. Models are not necessary. Just practice on tips. Keep painting until it gets perfect. That's foolproof. At our courses, we start off with the tips and then move on to models. Our students can handle it at our basic course. I have come across many techniques, and one of them is particularly curious. We need to put some nail polish on the tip of our thumb, then apply it to the free edge and get a French look. It's similar to one of the latest trends where we could do it with a stamping pad. The same point here. We can use a flat brush too, but today we will be using a thin one. I personally find this technique the best. Done with the cuticle. Now let's move on to the coating. For proper bonding, we will need a primer and, of course, a camouflage base coat. A must for French nail art. I recommend you go for rubber ones. Just test them out first. Harder base coats are likely to crack under the shoe pressure. And the coating will look like spider web. Give a big thumbs up if you have ever seen that effect on toenails. Do a thin layer first and cure it for 30 seconds. We decided to add another layer for density. 
but note that we never align toenails with the base coat. Otherwise, it may result in onycholysis and some other negative consequences. Always make sure to keep a pedicure coating thin. That is simple. There are many opaque gel polishes and powder base coats that provide a perfect coverage in one layer. Moving on. We wipe up the tacky residue. And for French nail art, we will be using this long striper brush by Jubilee and some opaque white gel polish. Here's a scheme on the thumb. First, divide the free edge into four equal parts. Then paint diagonal lines from the ingrowth points to the side parts. We can line how thick our nail art will be. Keep it thin at this point. Now make the corners rounder with long moves and lines. Keep the lines smooth and even for a perfect smiling. That is a draft version. We don't perfect it yet. And now that we have filled it in, we can touch it up with short strokes. On the rest of the toenails, the skim is simpler. We just need to paint thin diagonal lines, as thin as the brush, or a bit thicker, and make them rounder. Make sure to use opaque white gel polishes to avoid excess thickness. Now let's top it off with a non-tacky top coat. Keep it thin. Now cure it and file the free edge for more definition. Now spray the toenails with some dehydrating toner to make them picture perfect. And here's a final look. Please give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.